It's 2024 now, a perfect opportunity to learn a new skill. And if you want to learn how to create stuff like this, then keep watching as I'm going to give you a complete guide on how you can learn visual effects as fast as possible. I will be covering the best programs to use, the best free and paid resources, and also the question if it's even worth it learning visual effects or if AI is going to fully replace artists in the future. Let's get inside. So you want to learn visual effects? That's a great decision because once you get the hang of it, the creative possibilities are endless and you will literally be able to create whatever you want with no limitations. But to get there is a long way, which can be quite frustrating, especially in the beginning, which is where most people fail. But if you have enough passion and follow the steps that I'm gonna share with you in this video, I'm sure you will be able to do it. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. The first decision that you've got to make is the program to use. There are various types of software used for VFX, but the one that can do it all is Blender. It's open source and therefore free to download, but don't make the mistake of underestimating it because of that. Blender can do everything like the paid programs and more and more people are switching to it. It's not used in the industry as it doesn't have that much history and also has some problems with working in a pipeline, but in my opinion, it's the best program to start with. And if you want to know a program like Blender, it won't be too difficult to switch to an industry standard program like Maya or Cinema 4D if you want to do that. All right, so I want to use Blender, but where do I start? That's easy as there's only one answer, which is to follow the donut series by Blender Guru. He has just updated all of his videos to the newest version of Blender and it's already the fourth time he's doing the series. Basically, every Blender user starts with his tutorial series. It's really good. He will teach you all the basics from navigation, modeling, rendering and a whole lot more in 14 total videos. If you don't know what all of these terms mean, then you will learn it in the series. He explains everything in great detail. After you followed the series and created your own donut animation, you sort of have a base so that you don't have just question marks all over your face once you open Blender and are prepared for the internet. And what I mean by that is that you can now search for any tutorial you are interested in. Blender has a big community, so you will most likely find something. The reason why I recommend this approach is that you just learn more when you are passionate about a project. If you are into cars, you could search for a beginner car tutorial and for example find my latest video and integrate a CG car in your video. And that's the key in the beginning gaining as much experience as possible. So just follow tutorials for a while and you'll see results quickly. After that, you will have a pretty good understanding of how the 3D world works, so that you can now search for theory videos and learn how cameras, light, colors, and all of that work. Knowing that can help you a lot and is often forgotten by many people. And from here on, you aren't a beginner anymore, but an intermediate Blender user. I couldn't really find one way on how to move on from here, as everyone just needs to find their own way of doing things. You might be a tutorial guy and search for advanced tutorials, or you just might experiment with Blender and find out about new features in that way. One thing that I can recommend though, is to get yourself an online course about creating landscapes, for example, and really become a pro at that, as online courses are just way more advanced than a normal YouTube video and can teach you a lot more. After some time, you will find that Blender has its limitations, especially in the compositor, which is why they use Nuke in the industry. I personally use After Effects as it can do the same things as Nuke, but it's a little bit easier to understand and has a lot more tutorials online. But do your own research once the time has come and pick the right software for you. If you don't know what a compositing software is, in a compositing software you can't add 3D models as there are only 2D layers. In the intro, for example, I use Blender to render the spaceships and then later color match the 2D layer in After Effects. You could also do everything in Blender, but for visual effects, I wouldn't recommend it. Only if you do full CG scenes, um, you won't need a compositor. Now, I still want to share with you my favorite resources that helped me the most over the years. If you have some good resources yourself, then write them in the comments and I might pin them at the top so that everyone can see it. Okay, but for my favorite Blender resources, it's obviously Blender Guru. He hasn't only done the donut series, but also some other courses which you should really check out. Here's some about lighting and geometry nodes and a couple of other ones as well, which are really worth a watch. The next channel on the list is Polyfjord. It's probably my most favorite Blender channel. He does videos about practically everything, 
Also some about visual effects, but also the videos that are not about visual effects are definitely worth a watch. They are really good and also really entertaining. The next channel on the list is CG Geek. He also does some really entertaining videos about visual effects and some also about different topics like simulations, but all of them are definitely worth a watch as they are really good and really entertaining as well. Now the last channel on the Blender list is Ian Hubert. He doesn't upload videos anymore and I fear he's not gonna come back anytime soon, but the videos that he's done are really, really good, especially the last visual effects videos that he's done are a must watch for every Blender user. So check them out as well. Now for Adobe After Effects, I can recommend four channels to you. They're all doing visual effects tutorials since many, many years. And I learned After Effects by only watching these four channels. They are really, really good. And if you want to learn Adobe After Effects, you should check out all of them. So the channels are Ineos Alea, Filmriot, Cinecam, and Production Crate. Now for paid resources, I honestly have to say that I didn't watch that many online courses and I can basically only recommend one online course, which is the Epic Visual Effects Academy by Ineos Alea. If you want to learn After Effects and Cinema 4D, he will teach it both in his academy. And if you have questions, you can ask them on the Discord chat and there are always people around that will help you. The link to all the resources are in the comments down below. Use them to become better, but don't make the mistake of only watching tutorials. They are really important in the beginning, but after some time, you should learn to do more and more yourself so that you eventually don't need tutorials anymore. So to summarize it, you wanna use Blender and start with the Donut series by Blender Guru and then watch a couple of visual effects tutorials on a topic that you are passionate about. After that, you can learn about theory and specific features. And if you can, you can also watch some online courses. Remember, the order isn't set in stone. It's just how I would go over it. You can also skip a part or extend another one. In the end, it's your Blender journey and it should be fun. Now I quickly want to talk about AI and if it could potentially replace artists in the future. Obviously I can't see the future, so this could age really badly, but I did some research and found that most experts say the same thing, which is that AI will only help us to create things faster. Maybe there won't be a specialized animator, texture artist and compositor working on the movie shot, but instead we might see CG generalists overseeing the entire scene while AI assists them. So maybe there won't be animators anymore, but people who do an entire scene as a whole, which I think is also a lot more fun. But maybe it will also happen completely different, only time will tell. Anyway guys, that's it for this video. Let me know your thoughts on AI in the comments down below, as well as your favorite resources to learn visual effects. And then I hope to see you in my next video.